Video editing is always a time-consuming task, but a small update and changes in Premiere Pro can reduce our editing time. They are constantly working to simplify their application and reduce editing time. Adobe Future plans to incorporate generative AI into Premiere Pro, such as generating music and sound effects, automated B-roll discover for your videos, and so much more. But now I will show you the actual updated features in Premiere Pro. To remove pauses from your video, go to the window menu and open the text panel. Inside the text window, click on transcribe and it will automatically transcribe your audio into text. Then click on this filter icon and change the selection to pauses. So it will select every pause in your video. Now click on delete, select extract and then click on delete all and it will delete all the pauses from your video. Just like the pauses, you can click on a filler word, and bulk delete it from your sequence transcript. In Premiere Pro Update, you can easily find and organize your graphics templates. Go to the Window menu, and open up Essential Graphics. Now you can import your Morgrades templates in the easiest way. So open your Morgrade templates folder, select them all, and just drag and drop it to the Essential Graphics window. Also, if you have a lot of more great files, and you are in trouble finding your favorite one, you can create different folders to organize your templates. So, click on this plus icon, then select the folder that you want to import. And it will create a new folder here. Now select your favorite templates. Just drag and drop them to the folder. Then click on this folder, and here you will get these templates. So it will save your time and make it very easy to find the ideal templates. Also, you can check out my 25 Cinematic Mogger titles pack under the description link. When you export a video in Premiere Pro, and watch the playback on your computer, then you may see your video look completely different. But there is a new color feature to fix it. So go to the window, and open up Lumetri Color. Inside the Lumetri Color panel, click on Settings. Then expand the project menu. Set the viewer gamma to QuickTime. Now expand the display color options, and just enable display color management. And that's it. Here, I have added a voiceover, which is the first recording of human audio. Let's hear it. The uh, first words I spoke in the original phonograph. A little piece of practical poetry. Mary had a little lamb, its fleece was white as snow, and everywhere that Mary went, the lamb was sure to go. Edward Leon Scott captured this world first recording of human sound in history, on 9th of April 1860. And it was recorded on a phonograph machine. And now we'll try to enhance this voiceover. So select the voice clip, go to the window menu, and open the essential sound. Inside the essential sound panel, Click on Enhance, and it will automatically enhance your voice by using AI. You can also increase the level of enhancement. I would like to keep it around 8. Then enable Dynamics to increase the audio clarity. Let's check the result. The uh, first words I spoke in the original phonograph. A little piece of black poetry. The uh, first words I spoke in the original phonograph. And this is a significant result. So this is the easiest way that you can enhance your voice by using this new AI Enhance feature. I generated these word-by-word -word animated subtitles, using the AutoCut plugin inside the Premiere Pro. And this video is sponsored by AutoCut. To install this plugin, open the Creative Cloud app. Click on Stock and Marketplace. Move over to the Plugin section. And search here AutoCut. Now click on the free trial for AutoCut and here you'll get this install icon. After installing it you can use it for 14 days free trial. But there is a 25% discount available under the description link. Also, I'll give away a lifetime license to one of my audience. So keep watching for the giveaway. Now let's go back to the Premiere Pro. To open the AutoCut plugin, go to the Window menu, and Extensions, then click on AutoCut. Inside the AutoCut window, you will get some amazing features such as, AutoCut Silences, AutoCut Podcast, Auto Zoom, Auto Captions, and AI Auto Resize. All of them are very easy to use. Now we are going to create animated captions using this Auto Caption feature. 
So move over to the timeline and select your audio clip, then click on auto captions. This will open the captions preview window. Initially you will get three animated caption presets. Select one of them. I think this one looks good. You can adjust the font size here. To change the font, click here and choose your favorite one. To adjust the text position, simply click on the caption preview and adjust the position by dragging it easily. You can change the font color from here. Also, you can turn or off the animation, change the animation color from here. You can adjust the animation box padding, box opacity, and radius. You can also apply the transition in your caption. Edit text format from here. When you are done, click on the next step. Here you need to select the audio clip language. Then click on process. Now it will automatically transcribe your audio into text. Take a moment to review your written transcript and ensure that everything is accurate. Now click on add captions. You'll see the captions are being automatically generated in your timeline and it's truly impressive. Now let's talk about the giveaway process. This plugin's lifetime license cost is more than $500. And I'll give away a lifetime license to one of my audience for free. So you just need to comment the word AutoCut giveaway. To pick up the winner's name I'll use a random comment picker tool. After a week I'll post the winner's name in my community tab. You can save your whole project as a template. So that you can start your new project with bins and sequences already organized. As you can see I've imported all of the essential files to the project window, and I'm gonna save it as a template. So go to the file, and click on save as a template. Rename your template name, and click on save. Now let's open the template. So move over to the file, and go to new project. In the new project window, you will get the new project template option. Now select your project template. Also, you can easily find the project template location. Here are the templates for your project. So now click on create to make a new project with your project template. And that's how you can save your project as a template. If you accidentally delete any audio from your timeline, you can easily get them back. So here I am deleting an audio from my project timeline. Now let's get it back. So select the video clip over on it. And click F button on your keyboard and it will mark the exact video and audio file on the source window. Here you need to click on the audio waveform button and drag it underneath the video in your timeline. And there you go, that's how you can easily restore your missing timeline audio. You can use the auto tag feature to detect what type of audio clips are on your timeline. So go to window menu and open up the essential sound. Here you will get the auto tag feature. Now select the audio clips from your timeline and click on auto tag. As you can see it detects two types of audio for my selection. If I click on sound effects, now I can customize only the sound effects on my timeline. If I click on the middle audio clip, as you can see, it detects this clip as music and that is absolutely correct. Let's check out some more exciting new features. Premiere Pro has implemented a new recovery mode. If there are any crashes, when you open up back to the Premiere Pro, you will see a reopen button at the bottom. If you click on this, it will reopen those projects in the exact point that it was unexpectedly quit. Also, it will automatically save it as the current project file. There is another cool new feature called Cloud Sync. Inside the media browser, you will find the new Cloud Sync tab. It will automatically list the locations that are connected to your computer. You can connect to Dropbox or OneDrive to get access of your assets. And you won't be operating from a cloud, your PC will download the files from your cloud drive, so that there will be no difference in performance. There is a new feature inside Premiere Pro is Video Effect Manager. So inside the Effects panel, click on this icon, then open up Manage Video Effects. It will open the Video Effects Manager window. Here you will find all the video effects you have downloaded and installed. You can enable and disable your plugins and effects. So simply disable those effects that you want to disable, and just click on OK. A few months back, I have made a video about 10 Premiere Pro tips. You can speed up your editing level by watching this.